Hi developers, in this video we will learn how to use Flickr API to get images from the Flickr platform. Each image we'll get, we'll get also with it um, information related to the user who posted that image. We'll get also the number of views of that uh, image, description and the text associated uh, with it. We'll use a plugin called plugin.flickr. This plugin will add uh, the code we need in order to um, embed this functionality inside our Xamarin Forms application. So that we see that this code will add all the dependencies related to the entities to the view model and even it gives us um, a ready a content page that contains all the uh, data uh, and shows it uh, inside a, a list view containing all the, all the images and all the photos coming from uh, Flickr API. So let's get started. Hi developers, in this video we will learn how to, uh, to build an application that uses uh, Flickr API so that it looks like this one in uh, Android and on uh, Windows. For that we will use a plugin called plugin.flickr. This plugin will, will add all the code that we need in order to uh, build this uh, application. So let's get started and go and implement and uh, install that plugin. For that, I'll go here inside the uh, application I have created here by choosing File New Project and choosing the uh, Xamarin Forms um, uh, project template, which is under cross platform here, Visual C Sharp cross platform, and choosing Xamarin Forms uh, portable project. After doing that, I go to my portable project, right click and select Manage NuGet uh, Packages. Here, we look for a plugin called plugin.flickr. So here it is. I'll go and install this version. Hit install here. Hit OK. Now it's installed. So what this plugin does, it doesn't add any um, any other NuGet packages except the uh, JSON.NET, which we'll need to call the uh, or to deserialize the uh, the JSON uh, coming from the Flickr API and the System.NET.HTTP, which we'll need to uh, send the um, GET request to that API. Other than that, it will add three folders for the models, as here it respects the MVVM design pattern, so that it used the models. Here we have the Flickr item, where we have the information about each Flickr uh, photo. So we have the owner name, the name of the one who posted that photo, the, his, past, his, his uh, path alias, his photo, the title of that uh, photo, and also a simple description. And we get uh, some three uh, images depending on the one you need. So the difference here is difference in size. So this one you get a small image, medium image, and large image. And then we get uh, the property published, which uh, gives us an idea about when the photo was published to a Flickr. Then we get the number of uh, views. With that, we have the view model, the Flickr view model. Here it contains a list of Flickr items. We get these Flickr items by calling this um, method here init data async. This one what it will do it will uh, use the Flickr API. As you see here, it's making uh, a call to the Flickr API. And here it needs some parameters. Uh, it needs, for example, to know that. Um, the uh, API key you can get that using this uh, link here so if you uh, use that link to go inside the uh, Flickr API let me try to do that so that I can show you how to do it quickly so here 
yes. So here it is by opening that um, you get this window here inside the Flickr API. So of course, first thing to do is to um, create an account inside Flickr platform. Then here you give the name of your uh, application, what you are building, and hit, uh, um, and then hit uh, submit. After that, you will get a page that gives you your uh, Flickr uh, API key. So you go and replace that API key uh, here. Then um, this URL will be sent to Flickr or will be uh, will invoke the Flickr API so that we get all these uh, information here. Uh, here also you might want to change the user ID. What the user ID is uh, in Flickr, for example, you are looking for uh, images of a certain person or a certain uh, user. So um, here we don't write the name of the user, but instead we use his own ID. So we need to get that ID of the user. For that, if you cannot get it, then you can use this um, website, ID Getter. If you go to that website, then here you can choose, you can put here the name of your um, the name of your uh, Flickr. So let's say, for example, I'm looking for uh, Zamarin HQ. I want to get the user ID of this user. So I hit find. Uh, it seems to be Zamarin, maybe. Uh, anyway, you get it. So you put the name, the name of the, uh, or maybe I try with my name. No. Anyway, you get it. So you you will get that ID. So you will need to replace this one here, the user uh, ID. This way you can get the photos or the pictures from that specific uh, user. After that here, uh, this code uh, will get the JSON result and try to, um, to deserialize it and retrieve the information from that uh, JSON file. As you see here, so it will uh, try to retrieve the owner name, the path alias, and the other information needed as the uh, pictures. So by that method, now at the end we'll get the, our Flickr items uh, filled by data from Flickr API. Then we'll use this Flickr items inside the view page side here is the Flickr view page, the page that will get that information, will get that Flickr items and try to uh, show it inside a content page um, using a list view. So here you see we are binding against our uh, Flickr view model. And then we are creating a data template to be used inside the um, list view and we are binding all the properties uh, for each uh, Flickr item and here we are binding our list view to our Flickr items which are uh, here the Flickr items inside uh, our uh, Flickr view model so you notice here the binding in C sharp uh, the data binding in C sharp is done using um, strings So by doing that, we get this application uh, and just before that, we don't forget to uh, change this one here from main page to be new uh, Flickr view page. So Flickr equal new Flickr view page. Then by running, after running this uh, application, we'll get these two um, um, will get this application running on Android and uh, Windows and of course uh, iOS. 
So here you might say, I want to write my code in uh, XAML, in uh, XAML, not in C sharp, as we have done here. Uh, so you need, as you know, in XAML reforms, you can write the code in, either in C sharp or in XAML. So if you want, here we have chosen to write the code in C sharp, but if you want to use XAML, then you get a sample code here to help you quickly uh, and easily uh, get started using uh, that Flickr API. So you see here, uh, it's using, it's binding of course against the Flickr view model and it's using the list view to bind the items the Flickr items um, to that uh, list view. So thank you.